Hi Virgo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your August 9th through 15th weekly love reading. This may or may not resonate with, with all as it is for hundreds and thousands of people. I have pre-shuffled these three decks for you. We will see what comes out. I have started a Facebook group. It's called Spiritual Guidance Live Feeds, where I, where I will be offering um, free re readings, and I cannot talk for nothing. I will be offering free readings every single night, um, probably between 9 and 11 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to join, you may be picked. You know, if you go on the thread and ask me a question, you may be picked to uh, get your question answered. Or if you have gifts that you want to share, this is for anybody who has uh, spiritual teachings or gifts to share with anybody and they want to place uh, live feeds. All right, the link will be underneath. I do have an About Me video as well, a few uh, videos back if you want to see how I do readings and uh, why I don't do reverse. That's be, that should uh, be explained right there. Please excuse my um, grammar because it seems as though I can't speak tonight. The basis of your reading is the strength card. That is the sign of Leo. So some of you may be, have a Leo very prominently in your life at this time. Or this card is coming out because this week you absolutely need to have strength, confidence, and courage in yourself to get through something big. Okay, that could be the case. I'm just going to zoom this in. That was on 222 when I, or 222 when I looked at it. Faith and trust. When you see 222 on anything, that means that you must have faith and trust in your current situation and faith and trust in yourself. Okay, next to that strength card, we have the nine of swords. I see that there's been a lot of sadness, a lot of depression, maybe some, some anxiety, worrying about something, worrying about the future probably. There may have been some arguments or disagreements. Um, maybe you're wanting to move or you're wanting somebody to move or you're in the middle of a move because this is the move and things are just a little too chaotic at this time. Um, so, so many of you could be considering a move at this time or actually moving. I do see that there is... Um, some independence here so some of you could definitely be doing a lot of things on your own or consider being independent this week we have you here which is, this is a Virgo but it's also a Taurus and a Capricorn but I'm thinking this is probably you in the reading and I think that you um, are really you're really working hard on something you're really, really working hard and you're waiting for things to happen. I think that you've been working perhaps on a relationship. Um, and it's just, it's, it's, it's like it's going nowhere even though you've given it all your effort. Um, you do, you're just not getting what you desire. It's affecting your wishes being fulfilled. I think that you're, there's, uh, your wishes are not being fulfilled as you had hoped and you've been struggling with it, struggling to get through it, okay, and it's taking a lot of strength to get there. Um, you know, it, it is. I think that you are trying to remain in control of your emotions and control the situation. You're trying not to lose it, but things are a little chaotic. Um, you're feeling very insecure, like you're about ready to explode. Um, and you think that you just want something to be over with. It's overwhelming and you just, it's like, oh my God, I just need a break. Okay. I think that you're moping over something and 
you just don't quite know how to handle it, but you, you're ready to let something go. I think you're very much ready to let that, to surrender, okay? Um, there's just, there's, you have to, you're trying to keep everything organized and structured, and it's not easy. There's so many disagreements. There's so much tension going on right now. There's definitely a feeling of dis, being disorganized. It's like things are out of whack, and you are like, I don't know how much longer I can take. Um, let's get the next deck. I do see that there's a connection between you and another person, and it could lead to wish fulfillment, but I think a lot of you um, are stuck in a situation, and I don't know how stuck you are, but I think there's just a little bit of um, the need to, co to collaborate with somebody, okay? There's, there's too much disorganization. I think that... The, there needs to be some more teamwork involved, okay, with you and another person. And I think this is going to go on for a while where you're going to probably have to work with somebody that, it, and it may be challenging, okay. Um, and you've been doing this right along. It looks like you have just been working and working and working on something, and it seems like it really hasn't been going anywhere. But, you know, whether you can, even though you can't see it, Things are happening, all right? They are. Things are happening in the background. It looks like, you know, your thoughts do become things, and things are happening even if it, they are happening slowly amidst the chaos, okay? Um, I think that you have been preparing for this big change, um, even though there's there's chaos, you've just been waiting for the right moment. And I think this week, you know, I think confidence and courage plays a big part. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have a sign of Cancer here. We have Leo again. We have Aries, uh, the air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Aries again. Uh, okay, I'm going to keep going. There's definitely some p spitefulness in your life. Okay, I'm not sure what it is, but there's some kind of fast-moving energy that comes and goes pretty quick, probably this week. And it could be some petty arguments or some petty um, words of uh, anger, even, or out of animosity, or somebody might say something that they regret, so be careful. We have some impulsive behaviors this week, so try to keep things under control with that Emperor card. You know, I think there's going to be a lot of tension this week, and people may say things that they regret, so try to hold your tongue. That's the ultimate strength if you can hold your tongue, okay? So pay attention. Make sure you think twice before you speak. I know you've been waiting for the perfect moment. The perfect moment could come up, but think twice before you speak. Okay, try not to be impulsive because I see there's impulsive behavior here. Um, I do see that you're working on mastering your emotions. You're probably taking the lead. And a lot of you are focused on movement. Okay, whether you're moving house or somebody's moving out of your house or somebody's moving in, you could be thinking about traveling, you could be thinking about buying a house or just moving right out of the country. Okay, I see somebody thinking about moving. Now, this may or may not resonate with everybody because it's for hundreds and thousands of people. Some might resonate over here and not over here. But I do see that some of you may be thinking about leaving a situation and becoming independent and taking care of things on your own. Okay, and then others of you are moving forward, um, moving forward or just moving home physically, but, I mean, with a partner or whatnot. Um, a lot of you are starting a new chapter. Some lesson has been learned, um, and, it has, and it's a big lesson. Um, it probably was destiny when we have the world card. When we get the world card, it means something has been learned. One completion has happened, and you're about to move on to the next lesson. You can celebrate your success. We have the world card here. That tells me that you will be successful. 
all right? Just keep moving, but don't go too fast so that you have regrets, okay? Think, think, think. It's going to take planning. It's going to take confidence. It's going to take courage, and you're going to have to focus, all right? Um, I see that you probably have excitement, a lot of you, about the future, about the changes that are going on in your life. Amidst the chaos, I think that you're excited because, you know, there's change ahead of you. All right, we do have a lot of nights here, so there definitely is a lot of movement. There's action. Things are changing. We have Cancer pretty prominently, the sign of Cancer. We have Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. We have them all, so it could really be any sign. But I think that a lot of you have a lot of love this week or you're thinking about love. And this action, this movement could be because of love. Maybe it could be because of love. Maybe you want to move closer to your family. Maybe you want to move because something wasn't working out or you want somebody to move because something wasn't working out. Either way, it has to do with love. You're moving in the name of love, okay? Because this is regarding love. And I see that this week... Um, that's what it's about. I think that you have been waiting for the right moment. And somebody, somebody, um, you know, if you don't want to have re regrets, try to hold your tongue because I see that there could be some impulsiveness. There's going to be some, a little bit of drama, a little bit of chaos, disorganization, and, um, you could have regrets. All right. But it's a lesson learned. Okay. So whatever is ending, it was a big lesson and you are about to start a new journey. That's what the world card says. Um, you should celebrate your success because it's something that you've wanted for a while. I can see that. I can see that it's something you've been preparing for with this Three of Pentacles up here. You've been preparing for it. And now's the time. And it is definitely going to take inner strength to get through all of this change and chaos this week. It looks like this is a chaotic week for you, Virgo. Um, but I think it is in the name of love. I mean, in the name of offering support or loving emotions to somebody else that these changes are happening because, or it could be in the name of love for yourself, you matter. And perhaps that's the way you feel like, you know, I, I want more. I need more. This isn't what I want. We're moving. We're moving forward. I don't know how you're moving. Either somebody's moving out, somebody's moving in, or you're moving physically. This is a, a week of focusing, okay? Um, it's a week of vibrancy amidst the chaos. A lot of you have a lot of excitement in you. It's like you're starting something new. And even though it's chaotic and disorganized, there's excitement here. So I think you're excited for this new chapter of your life, even though there's a little bit of, you know sadness over it you know I think it looks really really good for you you're, I think you're so close to um, we have a couple nines here you're so close to your wishes being fulfilled okay your ultimate wishes with these nines all right We do have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio a lot. We also have several queens. Queens are about gossip. Don't worry about what other people have to say. Okay? People like to gossip. Oh, well, too bad. We all do it. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Remain focused and try to keep your mouth shut. It, this too shall pass. And I am a Virgo rising. So don't take any of this personally. It is the way it is. All right, there is going to probably be some gossips. That's what women do. Even men do it. But with all these queens, there could definitely be some gossip. Just let it go. Let it go. Who cares what they have to say? Doesn't matter. You have a lot to be grateful for. You have learned a lot. You have accomplished a lot. You are beautiful. Don't forget it. This is man or woman, by the way. Queen of Cups. The card says, relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition. Okay? Care for yourself and others. This could be the relationship with yourself. Could be a relationship with your children. Could be the relationship with your partner. Either way, a relationship is 
developing to another level. It's just, if there's any gossip, let it pass. Let it go. Try not to engage. This is the Five of Pentacles. It's about insecurity, feeling like you're on thin ice, feeling that you're not like you're not going to be okay. It's unnecessary worry. There's no reason to feel like this, okay? This is all like a, a no reason to worry about it. Everything is going to be fine. Do not worry, okay? Fears surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others. There is help available. If you are going through this chaos or you're, or you're waiting for the right moment or you're feeling stuck in a situation because of money, don't let that hold you back. It's going to take courage. That's what you're lacking. Night of air, like I was talking, the same card. There's so much action going on. I think things are happening all over this week. It's like it's chaotic for you this week. This night of air, this is a very impulsive night, okay? Like I said, try to keep your lips zipped, all right? And it's going to be hard because I think people are going to be saying things and there's going to be gossip and, there's gonna, and you're going to want to just like freak on them and be like, oh my God, shut your mouth before I beat you. Okay, and that's just what it is. Anyway, uh, it's just so just try to try to, to to for things to remain calm and collected. The best thing you can do is not engage. Okay, so things are going to be happening very quickly this week. It says events that occur with great speed. Take time to carefully review your options. It should say take time to carefully review your opinions. Okay, creative solutions literally just think twice before you say anything just walk away if you can there's going to be so much chaos that you could have regrets all right but i see that everything all these changes all of this disorganization and disarray is in the name of love because you're doing it because you love yourself and perhaps you have a love for another person and you need to be able to offer that to them So Virgo, that's what I have for you. Um, feel free to join me in my group for your um, to become a part of the uh, free uh, readings. I'm sorry, I cannot talk tonight. There's the energies are so strong with the full moon. It is the day after the full moon, and it's unbelievable the energies that I'm feeling. So that's I haven't been able to talk all day. So um, anyway. This is what's going on. And I'm a Virgo rising. So this is how people see me. The, the energies are strong. Okay. So things are a little chaotic. I'm hearing all kinds of things in my head. And I think that's kind of like what your next week is going to be like. It's going to be like things are going to be coming at you from every direction. And things are going to be chaotic. Just think twice before you speak. Because you could have regrets. That's what I see. So... Talk to you later, Virgo. Anyway, join the group. If you want to be part of my free readings at night, you might get chosen for a free reading. I will be, choose as many people as I can, and there are going to be many free readings. The link will be underneath the videos. Talk to you later.